Hey everyone, I'm Michelle, and this is your total body workout with dumbbells and body weight. We broke this down into three sections today. The first section is focusing on some major strength for the upper body, lower body. Then we're going to go into thighs and glutes, finish off with core. Each block has a different time with a different rest, but you'll take a break, get that water, recover, and then come back hard. Hey, if you're new to this channel, welcome, and make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any new workouts. Roll your shoulders back. Have your feet open a good shoulder width apart. Lengthen the spine and we're gonna just start to squat and then rise up with a knee and switch. So always get the length in your spine. So keep that chin lifted. You can either hug it or just lift up the knee. So I want you to feel that you're, you're gonna try to push a little heavier today, and we're just gonna slow it down. Lateral lunge to your right, just shifting over to the left. So hold it. If you wanna do a little reaching, you can have a twist. Take it up and just start to circle the arms up and back. Soften the knees. And then open and close with a little hamstring curl. Pull the heel to the butt. We're gonna lunge the left leg back, reach both arms up, and switch. Do a little back extension to really open up the front of the body. Keep those feet separated. And a wide sumo squat, pressing out through the knees, just hold for a moment. Then I want you to reach your arms up, stand up, squat, hold, push out, reach, and rise up. And then a nice twist in the waist. And then a little side touch with a lateral raise here. Big movement. move that we're going to be doing is a sumo squat holding two moderate to heavy dumbbells where we drop and hold the weight and then rise up slow you can stay in the shorter range if you want to if you don't have heavier weights and that would make it harder I'm gonna be using 20 pounds front load sumo squat feet turned out drop and pause and then press up and we're front loaded, which means I can drop deeper. And then watch your knees. It is okay to go past the knees in that squat with your butt dropping down. It's just that you don't want your knees going past your toes. And in sumo, our chest stays lifted. So we're gonna be doing 50 seconds of work with a 13 second transition. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna to go to bicep curls. Narrow and wide, I'm gonna be using 12 for the weight. 
changing that to my 12s. So here's my narrow full curl and the wide is a half curl. Soften the knees, roll the shoulders back, all the way up, wide is halfway. The halfway is gonna just give you a little bit more challenge. And remember, we have 50 seconds, which is plenty of time. You're gonna get quite a few reps, so don't rush it. And when we go heavier, you'll feel your heart rate actually go up. So you get that cardio feeling without having to jump around. We're going to go back to really heavy for deadlifts with both legs. So you should be able to go moderate. I'm going to go 25. All right, going into deadlifts. Make sure when you're picking up your heavy weights, you brace your core. So we're hinging just below the knees and then rising up nice and tall. Just below the knees, push the hips forward, squeeze the butt when you come up. Inhale to lower and exhale as you push up. And you can vary your stance, right? You could do narrow, you could do wide. You could have the legs a little bent. You could do completely stiff straight leg. When you're hinging forward, pull the core up and in. I don't know if you can hear all the sirens. There's like a serious emergency. Usually it's lawnmowers. Inhale, come on, length. Getting ready for a single leg lunges. We're using a bench today. I'm gonna use my 25. I'm gonna keep one foot down, one foot up. If you don't have a bench, you can stay in that lunge. We drop first, hold it, then press away. And you almost feel when your foot is on the bench that you're leaning forward. Inhale, hold, and then you exhale, push. Chin is up, feet are separated. You can have the toe on the bench, Right, you can have it flexed or pointed, whatever works. Pause and push. Really drop in that lunge. Get your chin up. No rush to get out of it. If you have lighter weight, you can stay lower and do pulsing. That would make it a little bit more of a challenge. We're switching legs. My feet are separated. So remember, if you're not gonna use that bench, you're staying here. Whew, five seconds. Did your heart rate stay up? All right, drop it. Press away. And from my body posture, I'm almost leaning a little bit forward into that front leg. Inhale. Exhale, push. Give me a little bit more time in the bottom there, Cheeky. There we go. Feel that butt cheek help you out when you're pressing away. Or in pause. Woo! Starting to feel it, huh? Having that chair makes a big difference, you guys. Brace that core. Woo! Nice job. All right, moving into, we're gonna go into a reverse fly with a row. So you're gonna hinge forward, have a bend in the knees, roll the shoulders back, about a 45 degree angle, fly, and then row. Now here's another option. You know, for me, this is kind of on the heavy side. You can do one fly and then a wide row. You can alternate the flies. It actually feels kind of good. What are you guys doing? So if it's really heavy, this is where you need to be with me, right? Where you do one arm, and then do the other arm. And again, range is more important than ego, 
right? Ego means, oh, I'm gonna go heavy if Michelle can do that. I should be able to. No, if you're not getting that range, let the ego go, leave it at the door, and do what you can. We're getting ready for, I'm gonna lighten the load for swimmers. So this is very shoulder dominated. It's a side raise, come in, go down, reverse. Whew, this one's a tough one, I got eight. An eight is right on that verge of almost too heavy for me. And guess what, you use your core and a little momentum, especially in that up movement. Up. Oh. Did you guys pick a good weight? And then look who just popped in. Magically, Catherine, right? Glad to have her here. Woo. So really, side, front, down. Get the range, right? 10 seconds, we're gonna do an alternating kickback. So you should be able to go moderate. I'm gonna go for 10. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go for 10. And alternate means, right, I'm gonna do right, then left. But you can't do this, right? Don't swing it to your shoulder, then it's too heavy. Ego, right, kick it back, left. Length of the spine. Right on. Elbow stays jacked up to the ribs. And don't let that arm come to your shoulder. That fist should not come to your shoulder. Here we go. You can do kickstand. Cheeky's got a kickstand with the legs. And again, moderate, right? There are times when I tell you to lighten the load when we do both of them at the same time. But because we're alternating, you can go heavier because you're using a little bit of extra something here in this. Nice push back here. Keep the breathing, four seconds. We got a squat calf raise and stop. All right, grabbing moderate. I'm gonna go for my 25s. We're gonna squat and then come up, lift the heels. So it's a squat calf raise. Ready, go. Squat, heels up. So in this squat, we have narrow, drop, lift, inhale down, exhale up. You can do no weight if that feels better for your body. Halfway through this movement, and then we go into push-ups. Really lift those heels up. Another great option with this, if you had plate weights, put them under the heels. All right, you could try that little lift. All right, push-ups. Two push-ups. And then you're gonna come to the forearms, lift the hips, lower the hips, and come back up for those push-ups. Two push-ups. Knees or toes, forearms, hips up, then down. Walk to the hands. So that hip lift just gives you a little bit of a break, works the core. That moving plank is good for triceps. Good range in the push-up. Chest to that elbow height. Eight seconds. And then we're gonna get some water. Whew, all right. Get some water. Take a little breather here. Very short. So we don't wanna to spend too much time. We're gonna try to keep that heart rate up. Keep pushing along here. Thirteen seconds, back into that loaded sumo squat. I'm gonna go for that 20, going in five, so turn out your feet, front load, drop and pause, hold it, then press up. 
Now, if you want more challenge, come only halfway or three-fourths of the way up. Push the heels. Chin up. Long spine. Knees track your toes in sumo. Keep an arch in that back. Feel the difference? Sometimes we go fast and we use too much momentum, which is fine. All right, in 10 seconds, we have that bicep curl, narrow and wide. Whew. Okay, give me the biceps. I'm gonna go for that 12 again. So it's narrow all the way up. Wide is halfway. Soften the knees all the way up. Halfway. Oh yeah, my heart rate's staying lifted here. Can you everybody behind me breathing heavy? Good sign. Working hard. Or it could be we need some breeze here. So if you just started working outdoors, let your body adjust. If you're not used to it. Things that make it different is the humidity, sunlight can challenge you. <clears throat> so stay hydrated. 10 seconds we do heavy deadlifts. I'll be using 25. Whew, all right. And anytime you need a break, by all means, hit pause and then come back. Here's that deadlift. Soft knees, hinge forward, and pull yourself up tall. This is a good one, you know, to really check your form, video yourself, right? That's a great way to make sure your technique is great. Sometimes we think we're long, and then you check your spine, you're like, oh my God, I was rounding. Push back, the weight stay really close to your legs. Again, we can have a little pause at the bottom and then pull it up. That feels different. Single leg lunges are gonna happen. Catherine doesn't have a bench, so she's gonna stay in a single leg lunge. Weight goes behind the head. Catherine, you're gonna stay here with the Leg back, we're gonna drop, then press up. We're gonna have our foot up on a bench. Drop and hold, and then come up. So hold it, press away. If you have, again, like I said, if it's a light load, go a little faster. Because sometimes slowing things down makes it harder. Now the great thing about this workout is we have it broken into three parts today. If you feel like you can't get through the whole workout, do this first section. Tomorrow you can come back and finish the thighs and the core. So remember that, you don't need a whole 45 minutes today. All right, switching legs. Is that good for you, Catherine? All right, here we go. It's harder to go slow. Drop it, press it away. Again, you're pausing at the bottom. So the perfect kind of height is, mine's pretty high. Like a chair would be great. If you have a weight bench, This one here, you're using so much of your body. That heart rate is just skyrocketing. Ooh. Getting ready for the fly. Oh, that was enough for me. 
Oh, fly. Oh, fly and row. So I'm gonna honor my body and go eights. Right, I'm gonna fly right, and then I'm gonna fly left. Then I'm gonna row. See how you make it your own? Just because I do it one way does not mean you have to do it that way. And your midsection, right, is really cranked on here. It needs a break. Coming up, right? So if it really needed a break, you could do this. Yeah. Did you see that, right? <laughs> we got swimmers coming up in 10 seconds. All right, relax it. We're doing good though, everybody's good? Oh, I got like sweat dripping down my nose, yeah. It's the humidity, here it is. Here's that swimmer, out, in. I think it's heavy, right? That's my option, elbows bent, punch, up, pull. And you know you're pushing when you start making those noises and your face makes those, right, uh, uh, which is good for you. You're exercising your face. Uh, you don't use it, you lose it. It's saggy. 10 seconds. Uh, alternating kickbacks are coming up. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my 10. Cause I know I can do 10. What do you know you can do? What do you believe in? You gotta believe in yourself. All right, believing comes first, not just thinking. Kick it back, switch. In order to make change happen, you gotta believe in yourself. And then you know what else you have to do? You just have to show up. There's days when you don't want to. You just show up, hit play. Next thing you know, it's over and you accomplished what you needed to. It's like going to work. Sometimes you don't want to, but you go. Guess what? You show up. Sometimes it may not be the best, but that's okay. Come on, push for this. 10 seconds. Squat calf raise is coming up. Come pick me up because I just want to see the light. Whew. I'm gonna go to just 20 on this one. Do what you feel like you can. So we drop in that squat, keep the eyes up, rise up on the calves. It's gotta be like 110% humidity, right? Woo! But the lighting is good. When the sun's not shining, looks good, doesn't it, right? Must have deep in that squat. And then the last 10 seconds, we'll just lift the calves, okay? Next time you come up, keep it calf raises. Come on, fast. Lift, release, up. Whew. Hey, push ups. Finish this. Finish this block, you guys. You're doing awesome. 50 seconds. Two push ups. Come to your forearms. Give me that hip lift. Chest to elbow height. Ooh, keep going. Don't worry. Thought we were done, but we're not. Keep it moving. Ooh. We have some extra on this one. This is the one you probably don't want extra, right? Bonus. Don't worry, I'll change it a little bit in the end. All 
All right, next time you're up on your hands, mountain climbers, they can be slow, they can be quick. Eight seconds. Now you're done. Woo! Great job, yay. All right, so you heard what I said. This is block one. We have two more. If you felt like this is enough time for you today, you can stop here or you're gonna continue with us. Maybe clean up a little bit and we're just using body weight. Woo! Come on to all four. We're gonna be using our right leg and we have a rainbow. So long leg, extend it out, go behind you and then out to the front. So you're making that big rainbow. And then the option is if you wanna drop down to your back elbow, you can. But keep the leg long and press through your arms to push slightly back here. And your rainbow can be big, it can be small. We'll do one side. We're gonna stay on this leg for the next few movements. Staying on all four, come back, back to the hands and the knees. Lift that leg up, really crank it to you, bend your heel. If you wanna be on the elbows, you can. Donkey kick, press up. And go at your pace. So if you feel like you wanna go really fast, go fast, you can do small, you can do big. Again, if you wanna be on the elbows, you find where you need to be. I, I like to be on my hands here, with a little bend in the elbows. But pulling the core up and in. And pulling that heel to your butt versus that leg being far away, pull the heel in. Shine your knee down. Turn your hips to face the ground here. Come on your side and clam. If you want to, you can keep your hip on the floor. I'm gonna lift my hip up and then open and close. I'm gonna lift the foot off, off too so that I can really get that rotation. And then I'm pulling up and in on the underside. Each move is 40 seconds with a 10 second transition. Ooh. Great option too, when you feel stronger, you can use band, a glute loop is great. All right, adduction with the bottom leg. So we're gonna take it out. Now, you can stay on your hip here. You can bring the foot in front, you can come up on that arm and adduct. This would be another option. So if your one arm is a little bit fatigued, Go there, works for me. But when we lift the hip, it's giving me a bigger range of motion and I can fire up some more adductors. You could have ankle weight on, but I'm gonna tell you what, this is totally fine. You don't need that ankle weight. Don't get all crazy on me. All right, back on to all four. Extend that leg and then open it out to the side. So rotate your hip open a little bit here. Come on the fingertips of the right and then straight leg lift. So I'm almost turned, but not all the way to the side. Feel the difference? So I'm not, not here, a little angled, just slightly angled. Give me length. The longer the leg, the harder it is, right? It's heavier versus bending the knee. Woo. All that we did on this side, we go right to the other side. So we're gonna turn around, right? Woo. A few seconds, flip it around, rainbow. Left leg is long, back. Out. 
And if you do these movements right, you definitely will feel them tomorrow. And if you're a little stiff and sore, do some Pio Flow or some Pilates. Nice big rainbow. Really cross it back, squeezing a little inner thigh, outer thigh. Bent knee, donkey. My arms are a little sore. We're fatigued from the other parts. Here we go, bent knee, really pull it in, knee down, press it up. Really, knee down, you guys, right? Pull that heel to your butt. And then you get, when you're really in that right spot, you get right up on the top of there, the gluteal. And look out in front a little bit, lift the nose. Good job, come on. 10 seconds. Take it into that clam. Woo! All right, clam, take your option, right? You can have the knees, the hip down or the hip up. Feet in line with the hips. Open, close. Get a really great rotation here. Brace the core. To me, when I'm doing this range, I don't need that band. I'm getting definitely enough resistance with my body weight. Bottom leg is gonna do adduction. Woo! Woo! Bottom leg is out, you have your option. You could be all the way down on your side. I'm gonna be up, lift it. Again. Try something, get a little bit uncomfortable, right? Get to that edge, but don't be on the edge and neglect your posture. Because then you're working in a bad range of motion. You can actually make things worse. We don't want that. Woo. Just one more move after this for those legs. Oh, come on to all four. Remember, we're gonna rotate that hip. So, long leg. Open slightly up, maybe on the fingertips of the left, and then straight leg lift. Kind of at that angle. So remember, the further away it is, the harder it's gonna be. Whew. I'm gonna reach my right arm out a little bit. And then lengthen the torso. Be mindful in the movement, right? You hear, you hear us talk about it all the time. You actually get more out of it when you're in the movement, thinking about it, staying focused. Great job. All right, sit back in child here. Reach out. We're gonna transition right into our core section. Same 40-10. This one I have 10 movements. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna face garage and it's a, a bicycle where we do a one two with a knee lift I'll show you here so I'm gonna have the right knee and I'm gonna go one two lift the leg one two same leg one two left leg up down bicycle one two left leg one two left leg one Two, Catherine, are you gonna get it? <laughs> it's always the same leg that's gonna lift. One, two, and then if you can, really, maybe you touch your elbow to the knee as you lift the leg. That's gonna make it harder. 
Hold it. So we're doing right. Means we're gonna do the other side. Relax. Hug the knees in. Twist to the left. Right leg is out. Give me that. One, two, right leg. Don't rush this one. Get it first. Then you can go a little faster if you feel like you need to. Twist. Can you touch? And then lift. So you get oblique, you get rectus. Try to keep your elbows wide. Come on, come on. All right, relax. Legs are up at tabletop. My ponytail is in an awkward place. Legs are up at uh, tabletop. You're gonna drop one or two heels and then pull them like right back over those hips. So the knees always come back over the hips. If you wanna put your hands up, kind of stop them. You could even add some force. Remember, it can be one and I can still force with the hands. And I'm gonna close my eyes. Think about my back pressing into the mat. Ooh, all right, jack knife. So we're gonna drop the legs to the front, lift up, roll the legs to the back, and then jack knife. So roll to the front, jack knife. Arms and T, roll to the back, jack knife. So the legs stay lifted the whole time. Then they go for that extra on that jack knife. Oh yeah. Come on, we'll roll it and lift. So we're constantly staying contracted in that rectus abdominis. We're going to be going into plank in five seconds. Okay, plank. Whew. We're going to take the knee, bring it in and take the heel out so we have internal rotation. Tap to the ground. So the knee comes underneath the belly button and the ankle kicks out. So we have just a different twist going on in the waist here. Push away, don't go forward over your hands. Look out in front, nothing on the ground to look at. Flip it, leg drop. And then you're gonna open close the legs at the bottom. Or not, right? Depends on your body. Legs are up. We drop the legs, open close, and then you can do a hip lift. Drop, open, close. And then wherever you wanna have your hands. I just put my towel underneath my ponytail to help my neck here. And press your hands into the mat, especially so you don't slip and slide. Woo. All right, come on up. Open your feet. You're going halfway down, back up. So tuck the tailbone and then you're coming back up. This is a good one for really stretching out that low back. And if you want a little more challenge, stay lower and really tuck your tailbone. Ooh. Ugh. 
and then we're gonna go into forearm plank with an arm and leg reach, holding for half the time on one side. All right, flip it. Now you can determine if you wanna, I'm just gonna stay for that 20 seconds on one side. You can hold just plank, here we go. So I'm gonna reach right arm, left leg and hold it. If you wanna just have a leg or just an arm, you can. Woo, shake, All right? Five seconds if you're in this one position. Switch. All oh, right. Try not to cheat. All right, do your best. Come on, lengthen your arm. Squeeze that glute. Three seconds. Woo. All right, V ups. Oh. Woo. Goodness, right? It's getting tough here towards the end. I'm gonna do one leg, touch the ankle, and switch. If you're feeling really energetic, both legs come up. Do what you need. Reaching for that angle. Roll your spine up, roll it down. Try not to go quick and throw. Whew. All right, this is becoming one of my favorites, but it's tough. <clears throat> On the elbows, crisscross. Takes everything we've been doing, kind of combines it in one. Watch the shoulders relax. If you need to be on your back, you're on your back, but I want long legs, guys. And you can be on your hands. You could be faster. All right, you can change tempo. Can you get your legs straighter? Woo! You're slipping. Put your hands on the concrete. <laughs> Woo! Oh, come on, come on, a few more seconds. Oh, I'm feeling it. Four. Three. Oh. Woo, butterfly. Feet together, knees open. Oh my gosh, right? You made it through. Oh, that was like a totally complete workout that we just did. So what could you do the next day? Maybe do some cardio. It doesn't have to be super intense if you're really feeling a little bit tight. Maybe do some pile. Of course, I'm telling you about workouts you can do with me. Uh, do some pio, do some pilates, do slow flow. That'd be a good one after this. Oh. Take a moment. All right, bring those knees in. And let's just do a nice quad stretch. So pull the foot back. Now, if your knee is sensitive, maybe you come to your elbow. But we're gonna kind of lean back open up that quad the older you get you lose flexibility it's just like muscle mass right we start to lose it because we're not if you're not doing your weightlifting you're gonna lose it obviously so it's the same thing with flexibility if you're not doing these stretches and everybody's like oh but my knees your knees will be okay if you continue to do these things but you got to do them that's the whole thing and, the, and and this is what we always do I know what I should be doing that's the most common thing I hear right I know what I need to do. What's holding you back? Like really? All right, switch that leg. And there's ways that you can find time to do it. You just gotta like carve it out. I think we were watching something last night on TV and I just took my mat out and stretched. You can find the time. If I can find the time, you can find the time. If you have that mobility, mine's a little bit tight today, you can lie all the way down onto your back. Oh, Cheeky's got it. Catherine and I, we got a little tightness. <laughs> all right, come out of it. Whew. 
And then we're gonna do a butterfly stretch. So feet together, knees are open. Grab anywhere you can. All right, lift the chest and fall forward. If you can, you're pressing the knees outward. Always remember your workouts are a place for you. You know, it's for you to grow, it's for you to change. So get rid of distractions, believe in yourself, do what you need to do, right? The only person that you should be trying to be better at then is yourself. We're gonna roll onto the back, hug the knees into the chest. I'm feeling like I wanna stay on the ground a little longer. So we're gonna tee the arms, drop the knees to the front, twist here. And then up and over to the back. And the knees in. One last big hug. And then we're gonna do a little Shavasana because sometimes we need this. Let the feet drop open. It's good to lie down flat. Take a couple of deep breaths here. <sighs> One nice big inhale through the nose. Hold on to that breath. And then exhale through the mouth. We're rocking up. Ooh, last big inhale. You did awesome today. How quickly did you come off that floor? <laughs> Might have taken a moment. Big inhale, reach it up. Pull it down through your heart. You, my friend, have a great day. Thanks for joining us. Thank you to these girls for coming out here. Ooh, it was a little hot. Hey, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Facebook. Information is right here. Love to see you there. I show some of my daily stuff, give you some nutrition tips, motivate you a little bit more. But you guys, we'll see you again here. Take care. Bye. <laughs>